Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this tutorial in which we are going to talk about what is Apex. So Apex is a strongly typed object oriented programming language which allows developers to execute flow and transactional control statement on Salesforce servers along with API calls. So Apex is a strongly typed object oriented programming language which executes flow and transaction control statements on the Salesforce servers and with API calls. So what does it mean actually? With strongly typed we mean type check system at compile time. It means if we write Apex code and if we compile it, it will check the various types that are available in it during the compilation itself. And in case if any type mismatch or any kind of error is there, it will report at the very moment. With object oriented, we mean that it follows object oriented programming principles. So the principles that we have discussed earlier about object, classes, abstraction encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance, all those object oriented principles is supported by Apex. Hence, it's an object oriented language. It's a programming language, hence it is used to provide the set of instructions. Now flow means sequence of execution as per logic. So it depends uh, what is the sequence of execution according to the logic that's being used. With transaction control, it means collection of types of statements. So when we execute a single statement, uh, then definitely it's a statement. But when we execute collection of statements as a whole, it becomes a transaction. So in case of transaction, either all of the statements will be executed when it is uh, when all of them are correct and all of them will be rolled back when any of them is wrong. So with a transaction, we means all together. So if there are 10 statements in a transaction and there is no error in any of them, then all of the 10 statements will take effect. All of them will be executed and the result will take effect. But if any of them is committing an error, then all the 10 statements will be rolled back and neither of them will show any sort of effect. With Salesforce servers, uh, actually we work on orgs when we are working in Salesforce and our org is nothing but the instance of the Salesforce server. So any Apex code actually runs on the server itself. With API calls, uh, API calls are the way of requesting services on the server. So the server provide various services to us and these services are provided in form of API calls. So we, we can take advantage of those services in Apex with the help of API calls. So either we can execute statements on the server or we can request for any service with the help of API calls. Hence, Apex is a strongly typed object oriented programming language which executes flow and transaction control statements on the Salesforce server and with API calls. Apex is available in the following edition. So it is available in enterprise, performance, unlimited, developer, database.com editions. It is available in Salesforce classic, but not in all orgs but it is available in Lightning Experience in all the orgs. In case if you are not aware about Salesforce Classic and Lightning Experience, I would recommend you to go through the admin certification course. I'm having one of them. So uh, you can go through that or you can go through the trailhead as well to understand what is difference between Salesforce Classic and Lightning Experience interface. As a language, Apex is integrated, means uh, we can perform DML, SOQL, looping, record locking and API calls, all of them in Apex itself. It's easy to use because the syntax is quite easy, which is based on Java syntax itself. Data focused, that means transactional access to data. We have already discussed about transactions. So data are having transactional access, which is a much focused approach with the data. Rigorous means strongly typed language hosted as it runs on the lightning platform or we can say on the server. So it is interpreted, executed and controlled completely entirely on the lightning platform itself. Multi-tenant aware. Now we know Salesforce uh, works in a multi-tenant environment. It's just like an apartment where uh, there are different tenants utilizing some common resources among them, right? So Apex is aware about this 
Apex is aware about multi tenancy and hence its runtime environment guard against the limits. So when you are working or when you are sharing resources, there are a cert there is a certain limit in which you can access that resource. The same applies here in the Salesforce and Apex is aware about that. Easy to test. So Apex provides us built-in support for unit test creation and unit test execution. Hence, it's very easy to test Apex code and it's mandatory as well. Version save apex code against different version of api makes it a maintainable language so we can easily maintain it along with the apex api versions so that's all about uh, introduction to apex and that's it in this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care